Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a new workshop. Mouse over the courses menu and click add new workshop. Select the workshop type and the coordination type and then hit submit. You can see that this is an accredited workshop as it's including some units of competency which are set up against the workshop type. If I'd linked any online assessments to the workshop type, they would appear on the right. We now need to ensure that we fill in any required information. For my in-house workshop, I'm going to add my client contact. Next, I need to select the trainer of this workshop. Moving down, we can see that some fields have been pre-populated from the workshop type. I'm going to set the location and the expected number of learners. You can leave the trainer rate at $0 if you wish. Next, we come to the dates section. There are three ways to set the dates. Simple dates are used when session times are similarly structured over the duration of the workshop and the workshop runs over consecutive days. Note that attendance marking cannot be used with simple workshop dates. However, if you go ahead with creating simple dates, they can always be upgraded to complex dates if you change your mind later. Multi-session dates allow you to set dates and times which are specific to each session of the workshop. Using multi-session dates will allow you to mark attendance and will allow more transparent visualisation of the workshop in the calendar for when dates and times are not consistent or consecutive. Using the multi-workshop tool will allow you to create multiple separate instances of this workshop at once. This allows you to schedule out your workshop instances into the future with ease and simplicity, ensuring all the workshops are created equally. The date descriptor is a description of the dates for the workshop. Moving down, we come to the financial side of the workshop. The in-house rate is the flat fee for the minimum learners, plus a variable cost per additional learner above the minimum. For public workshops, this section is replaced by a simple cost per learner field. Coming to the bottom, we have the optional trainer travel and accommodation fields. Below this is the venue setup. You can skip this step by the checkbox on the right. However, completing this step will allow trainer and room clash detection. Finally, you can use the checkbox just above the submit button to email the trainer of the workshop that they've been assigned to this instance. In summary, this video has demonstrated how to create a workshop and outlined key functionality surrounding this page. The following video will demonstrate the functionality available on the workshop instances page.